I started thinking about this as a kid actually. Um, I had one model engine and I tried different wings as a kid. At about 12 years old I was building model aircraft which I designed. And I tried many different wings and I found that uh, the wing section affected lift and speed dramatically. And I learned a lot at that early stage. And that stayed with me through the years. And I also looked at the state of the, of the aircraft industry and I realized that these wings are complete compromises. You compromise between liftoff and takeoff speeds and cruising speed. And then the mechanisms which are required to, to accommodate those, those changes are heavy, they're extremely complex, they require maintenance and that, that weight has got to be carried for the life of the aircraft, millions and millions of kilometers, wasted fuel and wasted weight. So I, I spent my time thinking about the birds. The birds have this ability to change the shape of their wings. Uh, they're able to flare out and land on the spot. We can't do that with our wings. We've got to come in and have these kilometer long runways. So I, I, I focused on how do the birds do it. And then I tried very hard to replicate the idea in a, in a mechanical method. And I knew that I couldn't build an aircraft to prove it. It's uh, not within the scope of a single person to actually get an aircraft going. You need a whole company. So I thought, let me rather build a wing sail for a yacht. And the added difficulty with a wing sail for a yacht is that it has to reverse lift from one side to the other because the yacht has to tack. So I set myself this goal of achieving uh, a mechanical solution to what we call it's biomimicry, really. What I found with the vultures and some of the eagles is that they did not have a tail as we experience on most aircraft, which is an elevator out the back to set the angle of attack to the wing, which lifts the front edge. They have a plan form which has virtually no elevator. If you look at the cape, uh, white-backed cape vulture, it has, a, it has a wing and only a wing. And I spent my time up in the Marikeli Game Reserve with, with binoculars studying these birds as they flew past, actually below me uh, in the ridge lift. And I, I could see the reflex section that they had. Now you can go and study any book on birds and no one will ever talk about a reflex section in the bird. But that reflex section is the key to achieving this uh, special technology. Uh, and when you get it right, which we've done now, you can eliminate from aircraft the need for the tail boom, that's the whole fuselage, the elevator, uh, the rudder, and all the, all the ailerons and the spoilers. You can take all of that off. You can literally save 50% of the drag of the aircraft because the wing can also get thinner for high-speed flight. So you put all of that together, you save 50% of drag on aircraft. So uh, I haven't got yet to aircraft, I've played around with a few designs, but we're working on the wind turbine, which has huge application. Uh, the hydro turbine, which can capture tidal and deep ocean currents. So there's massive, massive power resources we haven't yet touched. Um, and then of course the automatic sail for the yachts and active wings for cars and so on.